Hi friends, welcome back. In the last videos, we covered about what is the difference between module and a jar file. What is the need of GPMS concept? I hope everyone can able to understand very easily right sir what is the difference between module jar file next until 1.8 version we developed applications by using jar file approach with the jar file approach there are several problems are there four problems we discussed in the last videos very clearly right sir now let me talk much about the module module information right sir now what is module are you getting what is what is module sir can you please uh, spell out what is module what is the module sir can i can i spell out what the module yes because you you people should have basic idea by this time can you can I spell out what is the module sir very simple module is a nothing but a group of packages remember this one sir module is a nothing but a group of packages each package contain a group of dot class files okay clear sir it is also jar file jar file is also same but the difference between jar file and module is every module should compulsory contain one special file what is that special file sir module info dot java remember this one sir to hold the module configuration information like dependency security related information such type of information to hold that every module should compulsory contain one special file what is that special file module iphone info dot java clicker right sir up to this only two points i covered sir what is module module is nothing but a group of packages where each package contain a group of dot class files next uh, every module should compulsory contain one special file what is that special file sir module info dot java clear right sir now this is something like assume that assume that it is one module sir assume that it is one module demo module like this i'm taking sir demo module like sir in this you can take several packages no problem at all sir this is the pack one this is pack two this is pack three like uh, any number of packages you can take these packages contain some several dot class files no problem at all sir sir now here have you observed right every package should compulsory contain i mean every module should compulsory contain one special file can i can I spell out sir what is that special file module iphone info dot java remember this one what is this one sir module iphone info dot java that's all sir by this time sir you people should be in a position to understand sir module at very top level sir how to develop the module how you can compile how to run that part i'm going to take care don't worry about that first what is the module module is nothing but what a group of packages next uh, every module should compulsory contain one file what is the name of that file sir module info dot java clear up to this right next uh, how to write uh, this module info because package class files already from our childhood onwards we are discussing about this one not required to worry but uh, what about module info dot java how you can write sir inside that what things we have to define that part i'm going to take care just observe sir in the module based programming the king king is always module are you getting that for the the power of module the power of module is because of module info dot java only remember sir how you can write module info dot java sir have you ever wrote module info dot java in your life sir in the previously have you have you ever wrote uh, module info dot java file in our last uh, discussion am i wrote any time no remember first time officially we are going to write module info dot java what is the template what is the structure of module info dot java right sir it is a java file have you observed module iphon info dot java it is just like test dot java student dot java it is a java file only but special syntax will be there sir sir what is that special syntax here observe that i'm ready to write module iphon info dot java okay sir how you can write we have to use keyword module sir we should use which keyword sir module sir if you want to define sir class class keyword we are going to use sir in the module info dot java which keyword we require to use module 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 name here you have to take whatever the module name sir demo module student module aggregator module like any any name you can use no problem at all okay module module name sir here here we have to define 
we have to define define sir dependencies are regarding module module specific dependencies right here we have to define module dependencies like like uh, here observe first one sir like uh, here we have to define dependencies like what uh, what other modules what other modules what other modules required by this module required by this module here i have to specify sir what are various other modules required by this module where we have to specify sir in inside module info dot java file we have to write that are you able to understand right sir how you can write how you can able to write sir very very simple sir observe that sir requires here just one minute one minute sir here we have to use requires requires sir which modules are required suppose assume that this demo module or this module requires module a requires module a how you can able to do requires module a are getting sir similarly requires requires sir module b are getting requires module b so this module required these modules right that's why at the time of compilation at the time of execution jvm and compiler always going to check whether these dependent modules are available or not remember this one sir so what are other modules required by this module sir this information we have to configure inside module info dot java by using which keywords are required see the keyword right clear are you able to understand right next uh, second one sir what uh, what packages what packages exported by this module exported by this module exported by this module sir do you know is your this module how three packages right you assume, assume that three packages are available pack one pack two pack three like this three packages are there sir sir now this module want to export pack 2 and pack 3 but pack 1 just for internal purpose i don't want to export i don't want to export then how you can able to do that very simple sir exports can you can you please uh, tell what is the keyword sir here requires uh, here what exports exports pack 2 exports pack 2 so that this pack 2 is available to other modules happily the other modules are going to use pack 2 of this particular module similarly sir what i have to take exports exports pack 3 exports pack 3 like this dot 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 are you getting sir here which three keywords we are using sir one is module keyword second one is requires keyword third one is exports keyword right this is the template or this is the structure a uh, module info dot java remember this one sir so every module should compulsory contain one special file what is that special file sir module info dot java inside that module info dot java we have to define module specific dependencies information like uh, what are various other modules required by this module Module. Next, uh, what packages exported by this module? Such type of information we have to define where, sir? Inside module info dot Java. Remember that, sir. Sir, by mistake, if our module doesn't contain module info dot Java, sir, compiler will give left and right because the reason is it is not treated as a module. If you want to consider, yes, boss, it's a module. It's a module. When it is going to be considered as a module? compulsory this file this module should contain module info dot java otherwise compiler and jvm won't consider this as a module clear right so what is module what is module how to write module info dot java what is the template or structure of module info dot java clear for all of you right module is nothing man a group of packages sir each module should compulsory contain one special file what is that special file sir module info dot java 
player sir there we have to which information we have to define sir sir we have to define module specific information module specific dependencies information we have to specify inside module info dot java remember sir this is the structure of module info dot java remember sir what information you are going to specify what are various other modules required by this module we have to specify by using requires sir what are various sir packages exported by this module so that other modules are allowed to access only this particular packages right clear sir are you getting the basic terminology right if you feel comfortable then i'm ready to go for steps to develop first module based application right okay sir up to this whatever i covered let me show in the material so that you people can feel more comfortable right observe that observe observe that yes jpms jpm yes yeah have you observed right have you have a look once sir one minute one minute sir don't worry ha uh -huh. here have you have you observed what is module what is module module is nothing but a collection of packages each module should compulsory contains a special configuration file what is that special configuration file module info dot java have you observed the diagram of your module sir it contains several packages pack one package pack two and so on package n and uh, it should compulsory contain a special file what is that special file sir module hyphen info dot java okay we can define module dependencies inside module info dot java file sir module module name are you getting it may be demo module or student module customer module any module any name you can take sir here we have to define module dependencies which represents what other modules required by this module what packages exported by this module for other modules etc clear right sir that's all this is just a basic idea what is a module and what is about module info dot java file clear right that's all thank you sir